guys, uh, today I have for you another about uh, 45 minute flow um, and it's my power flow, power vinyasa level 2. So it's going to be more advanced and it's going to include all the fun arm balances. We're going to do pro pose, Eka Para Kundiasana 1 and 2. It's going to be a lot of fun, a lot of chaturangas in my classes. So be ready. And we're going to start right away. We're going to sit on our chins. You take a big inhale and reach the arms overhead. Sit nice and tall. Inhale, look up. And exhale, side body stretch. We're going to place the right hand on the ground and reach with the left hand. Inhale through the center and side body stretch to the left. Exhale, inhale through the center and exhale to the side, right. Inhale through the center and exhale to the left. Inhale through the center, and we're going to take a twist. Exhale, right hand behind you. Inhale through the center, left hand behind you. Inhale through the center, and come to tabletop, hands and knees. Make sure your wrists are shoulder width distance apart. Align with the shoulders, and your knees are uh, aligned with your uh, hips or one fifth distance apart. We're going to take a wrist stretch. So you're going to keep a micro bend in the elbows and we're going to inhale and then lift the shoulders over the wrist, over the fingers as much as we can. And come back, table tap. Inhale in, we go three times. Come back through the center. One more time, knee. Come back through the center. We're gonna find a simple motion here. So first find simple one way and then the other way. And then shake out the wrist. Shake it out. We're gonna flip the palms the way that our fingers are facing the knees also. Micro bending the elbows and we're going to take an inhale and shift back. Make sure your whole palm stays on the mat and you're not lifting. And come back to the center. Exhale. Inhale and lean. Come back to the center. And release, shake it out, shake out the wrist, roll the wrist, the other side, four of them. We're gonna take three cat cows. As you inhale, look up and arch the spine, press the ground away from you. And exhale to cat pose, round the spine, tuck the chin in. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat pose. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. And come to tabletop. We're going to warm up the core. Take an inhale, extend right arm in front of you and left leg. Make sure your leg is straight and on the level of your hips. Creating a straight line with your body. One more big inhale in. And exhale, connect knee to the elbow. Extend. Exhale to connect. Inhale to reach. Exhale, connect. Inhale to reach. Table top. We go the other way. This time, left hand, right leg. First reach. Once you're stable, connect. Elbow to knee. Inhale, reach. Exhale to connect. Inhale, reach. Exhale to connect. Inhale, reach. Come back, tabletop. Tap the toes. Downward facing dog. Pull lift the hips up high. Press the shoulders down. Press the chin. Press the chest. Towards the legs. And press the heels. Towards your mat. Bend the knees. Pedal the feet. Find some movement in your downward dog. 
Take a big inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose. Ujjayi. Pranayama. Big inhale. And exhale. We're going to start with sun salutation A. Surya Namaskar A. Find some stillness in your downward facing dog. Inhale, look in between the hands. And walk the feet to meet the hands. Exhale to forward fold. Hang heavy. Let your head be heavy here. You can take the opposite elbow, bend the knees. So you're connecting your chest with your thighs. Swing the toes or side to side. Find some movement here. Relax a bit. Press forward fold. Release the hands. Take a big inhale and come up. High mountain pose. Reach. Exhale to fold. Inhale, come up halfway. Halfway lift. Plus back. And exhale, hands to mat. Step back, high plank pose. Inhale, shift away forward onto the toes. Bend the elbows 90 degrees. Chaturanga, one straight line. Inhale to up dog. And exhale to down dog. Right away as you inhale, look in between the hands. Walk the feet to meet the hands. One breath per movement. Exhale to fold. Inhale, come up. High mountain, reach. Exhale to fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high to low plank, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. And exhale to down dog. We go one more time. Inhale, look in between the hands. And walk the feet to meet the hands. Coming into forward fall. Exhale here. Inhale, come up. High mountain pose. And exhale to fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Flop back. Exhale, step or jump, high to low plank. Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. And exhale to down dog. Now we find a few breaths in downward facing dog. Then you're going to inhale, looking between the hands. And walk the feet to meet the hands. Chair pose this time. Inhale, bend the knees. Sink the hips down, reach the arms, biceps spread the ears. Make sure you can wiggle the toes and the weight of your body is on the heels. Engage the core. Feel in the glutes, strong legs. Inhale. And exhale to release, fold. Inhale, come up, high mountain. Mini back bend. And exhale to fold. Inhale halfway. Exhale, find the hands, step it back, high to low plank. Inhale, up dog. And exhale to down dog. Now from down dog, inhale and extend your right leg behind you, straight leg, point or towards the toe. Keep the hips square facing your mat. One more breath. Inhale and exhale. Come up, step the foot in between the hands. Inhale, come up, high lunge. Exhale, left knee taps to the mat. Inhale, come up. Exhale to tap. Inhale, come up. Exhale to tap. Inhale, come up. Exhale, hands to mat. High to low plank. Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. We go right away, left side. Inhale. Extend the left leg behind you. Inhale, one more breath, and exhale. Step the foot in between the hands. Exhale to low lunge. Inhale, come up, high lunge. Exhale, right knee taps. Inhale, come up. Exhale, tap. Inhale, come up. Exhale, tap. Inhale, come up. Exhale, hands to mat. High to low plank. Chaturanga. Inhale up dog and exhale to down dog. From your 
downward facing dog, look in between the hands, step, jump or walk to a forward fold, exhale here, inhale figure four, chair pose, this time left foot crosses over the right thigh, flex the foot towards your face, hold it, one more breath here, sink on. Step back to your high lunge. One more breath here. Inhale and exhale to twist. Right hand reaches back. One more breath. Inhale through the center and exhale to warrior two. Spin the back foot. 90 degree bend to the front knee. 45 degrees in the back foot. Relax your shoulders, gaze over front hand. Find some stillness in your warrior two. Inhale, flip the front palm, reach back, reverse your burrito. Exhale, side angle pose. Right hand towards the mat and left hand up. Rotate the oh, torso, rotate the chest towards the sky. Inhale and exhale. Another good inhale, come back to your reverse. Warrior. And exhale, hands to mat, frame the front foot. Step it back, high to low plank, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. By the way, inhale, look in between the hands. Walk the feet to meet the hands. Figure four, chair the other way. This time, right leg crosses. Ankle over the thigh. Hold it here, sink low. One more big inhale and step it back into low high lunge. Reach the arms up. One more breath here, inhale and exhale, take the twist. Your left hand reaches back, look back. Inhale through the center and exhale, spin the back foot, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extended side angle. Exhale, here, one more breath. Inhale, come back, reverse. And exhale, hands to mat, high to low plank. Take your chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, to down dog. We go right away, inhale. Right leg extends behind you. Step the foot in between the hands. Exhale to a lunge. Inhale to twist. Right hand reaches. One more breath here. Inhale. Come up to twisted high lunge. Hold your twist. Exhale. Inhale through the center. And exhale to warrior two. Inhale reverse. Exhale, side angle pose. Inhale, back to reverse. Exhale, hands to mat, high to low plank. Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Right away, inhale, left leg extends behind you. Step the foot in between the hands. Exhale, to low lunge. Inhale, come up, high lunge. Exhale to fold. 
Inhale, come up. High mountain pose. It's time to get twist. As you exhale, twist. Right hand behind you. Inhale through the center. And exhale to twist the other way. Left hand behind you. Inhale, come up through the center. Inhale. And exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, step it back, high to low plank. Inhale, up dog. And exhale to down dog. Now from downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg, extend behind you. Exhale, step the foot in between the hands. Inhale, come up, high lunge. Exhale to body of two. Inhale to reverse. Exhale, side angle. This time with a bind, go for a bind. Bind the hands behind your back. Inhale. Exhale. Step the left foot next to the right. Inhale. Come up. Bird of paradise. Hold your bonds. Straighten up the leg. One more breath here. And the same way we came. We're going to come down without collapsing. Step the foot. Right foot next to left. Left foot steps back, coming into your bound side angle. Release the arms, lift out the arms. Inhale, come to reverse. Exhale, hands to mat. High to low plank, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Right away as you inhale. Left leg, extend behind you, step the foot in between the hands. Come up, high lunge. Exhale to go your two. Inhale to reverse. Exhale, side angle pose. Go for the bind right away. Bind the hands behind the back. Hold it here. One breath. So we step the foot. Right foot next to the left. Weight goes into the right leg. Stand up, bird of paradise. One more breath here, hold. Strong legs, strong balance. And slowly release. Stepping the left foot next to the right. And stepping the right foot back. Coming into the side angle pose. Release the bind. Come back, reverse. Inhale. And exhale. Hands to mat. High to low plank. Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. One breath here. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Extend the right leg behind you. Exhale. Step the foot in between the hands. Take a twist. On the inhale. Exhale, come up, high lunge, with the twist. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, body of two. From body of two, we're gonna go straight into half moon. One more, so slowly start shifting the weight into the front leg. Keep your body uh, rotating towards the side of the room. And lift up, come into half moon pose. Find a point to look at. Flex the feet, hold it here. Half moon. Hold. One more breath and slowly step back into warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle pose. Inhale, reverse triangle, straighten up your front leg, reach back. Exhale, triangle pose, reach, right hand reaching forward as much as you can, and then right hand goes down, left hand towards the sky, rotate the chest, look up, look up. Now for more challenge, biceps, frames the ears, both hands reaching. Rotate the chest towards the side of the room. One more breath here. Now slowly come up. Inhale to reverse. Exhale, hands to mat, high to low plank. Chaturanga. 
Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Right away on the inhale. Left leg extends behind you. Step the foot in between the hands. Take your twist. Inhale. Come up. Twist the high lunge. Inhale through the center. Exhale to warrior two. From warrior two straight into half moon. So body goes first into the front leg and then you shift the weight. Hold it here, half moon. Flex the foot. Go, one more breath here. And we slowly step back into warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side into pose. Inhale, reverse triangle. Straighten up the front leg. Reach back. Exhale, triangle pose. Left hand reaches, reaches. Shift the hips towards the back of the room. And then left hand down, right hand up. Rotate the chest up. For more challenge biceps, frame the ears. Look up. Hold it here. One more breath. And slowly come up. Release. Inhale to reverse. Exhale, hands to mat. High to low plank. Take your chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale to down dog. Now from downward facing dog, we shift the weight to plank. We stand in plank. You're going to take your right hand and extend it behind you, extend it in front of you. Hold, one arm plank. Now we slowly shift to a side plank. Hold, one breath here. Back to your one arm plank. Hold, and back to your side plank. We go one last time. Come back. One arm plank, hold it here. Release. We go the other way. This time left hand extends in front of you. First hold. Make sure you're not leaning to the side, hips are squared. Now come, side plank. Ankles together. Come back, one arm. Maybe take the feet a bit wider. Come back, side plank. One more time, let's go. One arm plank. Now you can release. We're still in plank. Extend the left leg, lift the left leg. We go zippers, 10 times. We go elbow, wrist, elbow, wrist. Come on, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, back to plank, the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Back to plank, shifting back to downward facing dog. Now from downward facing dog, we're gonna come into a bear pose. So take the knees down, or come to tabletop, and then from tabletop. You're gonna hover the knees about three inches from your mat. We're going to extend the right leg behind, connect elbow to knee, and extend five times on each side. Elbow to knee or triceps as high as you can. Make sure your shoulders are not moving forward, they stay aligned with the wrist. Go, five on each side, stay low, Make sure you're still in your bear pose. Three, four, and five. Then you can release. Come back. Downward facing dog. Breath here. As you inhale, shift back to plank. We're going to connect elbow to knee, elbow to knee. We're gonna go five on each side. Just elbow to knee, step it back, elbow to knee, elbow to knee, elbow to knee, elbow to knee, 
And whenever you're ready, come back. Downward facing dog. We're gonna go to first arm balance of the class today. And we're going to start with Ekapara. Ekapara Kundiasana 2. You're going to shift your weight to plank, Chaturanga, bend the elbows 90 degrees. And you're going to press your inner thigh onto your elbow, shift the weight forward. And you are in your Ekapara. You can straighten up your leg or keep the bent in the, in the knee. You can try both sides. The shift comes, the lift comes from shifting the way forward, not shifting towards the ground. So we have to be careful here. So one more time, we go from downward facing dog. The other side, shift to plank, slowly bend the knee, bend the elbow, inner thigh goes onto the elbow, and the shift forward, no jumping. The other, the right foot comes off by itself as you shift the weight forward on your arms. So I hope you guys give it a try here and there. And we're going to come back to downward facing dog. Now from downward facing dog, we're going to come back to plank. Shift to plank. This time we're going to lower to forearm plank. Now on your forearms, make sure your body is one straight line. Your elbows are below your shoulders. And we're going to walk the feet into a dolphin pose. So you're going to press the ground away from you and walk the feet as close as you can towards your body. And hold it here. One breath. And then you're going to release. Come back. Come to your forearm plank. We go again. Walk the feet as close as you can. Delphine. One more breath here. And now release. Walk it back. This last time we go, we go for a pinch up. We go for forearm stand. I'm going to make sure you guys can see me. The key is to walk the hips as high as you can. So you don't have to jump too much. Because the further you are, the more force you have to use to jump into it. So the best is to kind of just lean into the arm balances, handstand, headstand, without any jumping. You're going to start on the elbows and you're going to walk it as close as you can. Looking between the hands, one leg extends and you're going to slowly come up, slowly hop. And then try to put the feet together and hold it and then come back maybe try with both feet if you are not there yet uh, the best exercise is to stay a dolphin pose and as you walk the feet closer maybe lift one leg hop a little bit lift the other leg hop lift one leg the other and play with it. One day you will be able to just hop it to pincha. From this we're going to come back to downward facing dog. Take a few breaths here and we're going to inhale and extend the right leg. Exhale, step the foot in between the hands. Come up, high lunge. Exhale, parallel the feet. I'm going to turn the way you guys can see me because we're going to come to a five point star pose or you're going to take your make your, your legs straight feet parallel to one another and you're going to inhale and reach and exhale interlace the hands behind your back we're going to take a wide legged forward fold slowly start folding the crown of your head reaching towards the ground One more breath here. Inhale. Breathe here. And we're going 
want you to slowly release. Come up. Inhale, reach. Exhale, scan that's on a side lunge. Come down, press the heel of your foot to the mat. And we're gonna shift the weight to the left side. Stay low, shift right, shift left, shift right, shift left. And this time let's go for a bind, right arm reaching. Left arm, left elbow goes across. And I'm gonna find the hands behind my back. One breath here, release the bind, shift the other way. We go for the bind on the other side. So left hand reaching, right hand goes, I would say behind. You bend the elbow, and then you're gonna find the hands behind the back. Look up. One more breath here, big inhaling, and exhale, release, come up, inhale, reach, and exhale, covers on the other side, so we're going to exhale, and we're going to frame the front foot, and come into your high to low plank, chaturanga, inhale, up dog, exhale, down dog, on the inhale, extend the left leg, behind you and step the foot in between the hands. Rise up, inhale, high lunge. Exhale back, parallel the feet. This time we're gonna come in a goddess. We're gonna take the toes out and the heels in. And you're gonna sink low, reach the arms up. Your thighs become parallel to the ground, hold. Inhale, come onto the tippy toes, both tippy toes. Lift, sink low. Hold it here, strong legs. Release, come up. One more time, sink low. Come onto the tippy toes. Come down, release, come up. Parallel the feet. We stand forward, fold. And we go for a tripod handstand. We wanna reach the arms up. Exhale to fold. The crown of the head comes down. Arms, make sure that your hands are your shoulder with distance apart, 90 degree bend in the elbows, hands pressing down, and you're going to come and lift the feet, coming to try by handstand. Hold it here for at least three breaths. Now from, from tripod hips, then try coming straight to a crow pose. So bend the elbows, press the elbows as high, as close to the armpits as you can. Slowly shift the way into the arms, lift up. Coming into crow or flying frog. And you can release here. For those who want to go only for a crow pose, you know you can start. In Malasana, Yogi Squat, you're going to place your hands right in front of you. Press your knees inside the armpits or as high on the tricep as you can. Come onto the tippy toes. Slowly start shifting the weight into the hands, arms, and the feet come up by themselves. Hold it here for three to five breaths. Stay strong. And you slowly release. Let's come back to the white stand. Inhale to reach up. And exhale, frame the front foot. Come back to your chaturanga. Inhale to up dog. And exhale to down dog. Now from downward facing dog. Extend the right leg behind you. And stepping between the hands. This time left knee comes down. We're going to come into half or full split. If that's available to you. If half split, make sure you keep your chest connected to your thigh. And you're going to slowly start shifting the way back. Pressing the hips towards the back of the room. Flex the foot towards your face. And fold over the front 
Knees. Straight knee. Hold. Hold it here. One more breath. And you're going to slowly release. Lift up. Coming to high lunge. And from high lunge, we're going to straight to go to your two. So you're going to put the weight of your body onto the front, onto the right leg. And make sure your body is one straight line. T. Body or three. Hold. One more breath. From body or three. We come step straight into standing split. Place the hands down. Bring the foot. And press the chest towards the standing thigh. Standing split. Slowly release. Step it back. To high lunge. And exhale to warrior two. Inhale to reverse warrior. And exhale hands to mat. High to low plank. Chaturanga. Inhale up dog. Exhale down dog. Now from down dog. Left leg. Extend behind you. Step the foot in between the hands. Right knee goes down and tuck the toe. We're going to come into half split. The other side. Keep the chest and tongue connection and shift it back. Hold it here. One more breath. We're almost done. Slowly shift it back. Coming to high lunge. From high lunge. Straight into warrior three. Come up. Place the foot. From warrior three, slowly start pulling the hands down in front of you. Frame the foot. Coming into standing split. One more breath here. And slowly step it back. Inhale, reach, high lunge. Exhale to warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, hands to mat, high to low plank. Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale to down dog. This time from down dog, we're going to come. We're going to extend the right leg behind you. And you're going to cross the body first and Take your foot, we're going to come into side plank variation. Where are you going to take your right, uh, keep your right hand down and take your left hand and you're going to take your right foot. Side plank variation, you can either grab the knee if you're not there yet, hold the knee, toe or the other edge of your foot. Hold it here. One more breath. And slowly release. Come back, down dog. We go the other side. Extend the left leg behind you. Shift your weight to plank. Cross the body. And you're going to reach for the foot, knee, toe, side plank variation. Hold it here. One more breath. And slowly release. Now we're going to come and we're going to go for Ekapura Kundyasana. One. So you're going to shift the weight to plank. You're going to extend the right leg. Bend the knee. You have to cross the body. And you're going to bend the elbow 90 degrees. So it's the opposite. You're going to come to where you guys can also see me from front. So it's going to be the opposite. Like Ekapura Kundyasana. Two. But this time we're crossing. The body, so you're gonna bend the elbows 90 degrees, press the foot as high as you can, and you're going to shift the weight forward and hold it here. Go, play with it. Try both sides. So this time we go the other side. From your down dog, I will first shift it to plank, bend the elbow 90 degrees, hook it. 
shift it forward. The feet will come up by themselves. They come with the shift forward. Hold it. And then come back. Come back to downward facing dog. Play with it, guys. Try at home. It's a para on one and two. Now we're going to take a break. The hands will get a break. Inhale, look in between the hands and walk the feet to meet the hands. Come into a chair pose on the top. Tippy toes, toes stand. We're going to slowly, slowly sink low. Come all the way down, hold it here. Hold it on the toes. And slowly sit. We're going to come into a seat. And we're going to do a couple of rounds of boat pose, which is very important pose, specifically for strong core handstand. You're going to keep your chest straight. Reach the arms up. And you're going to extend the legs in front of you. If you are not there yet, you keep a bend in the, uh, in the knees or you can place the hands behind you to support your, support your weight. And you're going to, if you want to fall challenge with me, you reach the arms, you reach the legs, stand the legs. And we're going to go five times, lower to low ball pose and high ball pose. Low ball pose, high ball pose. Low ball pose, high ball pose, low ball pose, and release. Now we're going to come up into a low ball and do 10 times scissors. So you can first lift the shoulders, lift the chest, and then reach like you are reaching with your hands for something that's not there. And then you lift your feet about three, four inches from the, from the ground. And we go 10 times scissors, strong belly muscles. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, release. This time we go 10 reaches. So we're gonna stay in low ball pose. But you're going to lift Lift the feet and reach for your knees. So reach from side to side. 10 times. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And release. We go one more time. But this time, we're going to make five times circles. So you're going to keep the hands down. You take the feet. And you do five times circles one big circle one way the feet stay in the air this whole time they don't touch the ground they come close to the ground but don't touch then they come up and we do five circles the other way strong core and then we go five the other way one, slow it down, two, three, four, we go one more time, and five. There you go, and slowly, 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 release the feet, from the point of the belly. Time. One of my favorite poses for strong core, strong back. We're going to come to, to pose, but you want to reach the arms in front of you. And we're going to bend the elbows five times, 90 degrees, and extend. So you're going to take a big inhale. You're going to lift the chest and legs. And then five, four, three, two, one. And release. We go two more. So take one breath, break, and inhale, come up, and exhale. Bend. Inhale. Bend. One more time here. And release. 
We go one last time. And we're done. Take a big inhale. Come up. Go. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. And release. We are done here. We're going to do a few stretches. So from here, we're going to do Cobra. You're going to place your hands right next to the rib cage. And we're going to inhale. First, come up halfway. Hold it here. One more breath. And slowly release. This time we come full Cobra. So as you inhale, slowly start straightening up your hands. Breathe through it. And slowly release. We're going to come to our backs and take a figure four chair pose, back bend, and we're going to finish. So keep your uh, Keep your knees bent and you're going to cross the right ankle over the left thigh and gently press the, press the knee away from you. You can also interlace the hands uh, around the left thigh or behind the left thigh and you can press the, press the thigh towards your chest to get a deeper stretch. You can also extend the legs, straighten up and grab the foot, grab the ankle. And we're going to slowly release and change sides. So for straighten up the legs, come back. Let's go the other way. So you're going to cross the left ankle over the right thigh and just press the knee out. Use your hand gently pressing the knee. You can go for the deeper stretch so you can interlace the hands behind the right thigh and press it towards your chest. Three breaths here. And we're going to slowly release. Take a few bridge poses. So you're going to place your heels the way you can reach them. And we're going to this time go for the deeper variation and interlace the hands below our back. And we're going to take a big inhale and lift as high as you can. Lift the chest up, you strong glute. So lift up as much as you can. And we're going to breathe and hold this pose for three full cycles of breath. One more breath here and we're going to slowly release. Down. We go one more time. So take a big inhale, interlace the hands and lift. Now we slowly release, for those who are now with me, the full challenge, we're going to come into a wheel pose. So place the hands right next to your ears, make sure your elbows are your shoulder distance apart, shoulder width distance apart. And then as you inhale, you're going to lift the chest, lift the hips up, coming into a wheel pose and press the chest towards the front of the room, straighten up the hands, the arms. Five breaths here. And slowly release down. If you want more challenge, you can lift the leg, lift the hand. We're going to leave it right here. Hug the knees into your chest. 
sway side to side. And take a happy baby. So your knees go inside, but you take the feet from outside. And the same, you sway the body side to side. Pressing the knees towards the ground, but also the, the lower back stays on the mat. Big inhale. And we're gonna slowly release. Hug the knees one more time. Give yourself a hug. Tuck the chin. And we're going to slowly release into the last pose of Shavasana. So lie down. Close your eyes. And find a minute or two every day to just reflect on the day. Maybe on the things you that are not going the way we want them to go. But try to always find something positive in every situation. Thank your body for being healthy, for being able to exercise. Because there are so many people that can. So I always tell to myself that I am blessed to have hands, to have feet. We don't realize how lucky we are to live. Enjoy every moment. And slowly start breathing, taking deeper and deeper breaths, inhale, maybe put one hand on the heart, the other one on the belly, to feel the breath flowing through your body. And slowly start bringing awareness to you yourself, wiggle the toes, take a big stretch, like you just woke up, hands overhead, and come into a seat, I want to say thank you, I want to say thank you for either sharing my practice or watching my videos, and I'm gonna start putting more videos to share my practice with you, and I thank you all guys very, very much for watching my videos, thank you.